Okay, let's take a look at how you use the spreadsheet to do your water use inventory. So I already have a template here. You should go to File, Make a Copy. And to do that, you have to make sure that you're logged into your Gmail account. And pretty much immediately, you can go ahead and share it with me. Hit the blue button. And make sure that it says anyone who has a link in view. And then copy and paste this link into EDU. Okay, so we have some different columns here. And we have some different types of uses. So um, let's take shower, for example. In this first column, you're going to put number of uses per day or minutes per day per household. So what you have to think about here is um, how many showers are being taken in your house every day and for about how many minutes each. So let's just say that you have four people living in your home. Each person takes a shower. That's about 10 minutes. So you would think, okay, that's 4 times 10. So we'll put in 40 minutes. Estimated gallons per use or per minute. Um, so it depends on what kind of faucet you have. Um, if you have a shower head that's a low flow shower head, you might be looking at two and a half to three gallons per minute. For a real gusher, you might be like 10 gallons per minute. Let's just pick a number here of um, four gallons per minute. So estimated gallons used per day per household is going to be the product of those two. So here's how we do formulas in Excel or a spreadsheet. It always starts with typing equals. And then you click on this number and then you can do times, asterisk, this number, and enter. And if you want to go back and change because you realize, oh, actually, I have a low flow shower head, so I'm going to make that three gallons per minute, it'll automatically update over here. Um, let's see here. Um, toilet flushing, this is a little different because now we're not looking at minutes per day, we're looking at uses per day. So you can estimate how many times the toilet gets flushed in your home every day. So for me, for my home, I'm going to say 12 times. And estimated gallons per use or per minute. So to get these values, you want to take a look at the table in the link that I gave you in the EDU assignment. And uh, let me pull that up for you. That handout looks like this. And if you go down here, toilet flushing per use flush, about 5 gallons. So we can go back here and we can put in a 5 for that. And um, we don't actually have to retype this formula. We can just copy and paste it down. Um, to here. So if I double click on that cell, it's going to show me it's multiplying these two numbers. Okay, and this is a zero because there are no numbers here yet. You are not necessarily going to have all these filled in. For ones that don't apply to you, you can leave blank or you can put N slash A, which means not applicable. Okay, so let's then continue. Estimated gallons used per day per person. That would be um, thinking of it per person like you. So you have to divide by the number of people in your household. So um, I'm going to do equals this number, which is per household, divided by, let's say, four people living in my household. So that's going to be 30. That number that you divide by will depend on your house. And same thing, I can copy and paste that down. I can copy and paste it down the whole way if I want to. Um, so estimated gallons used per week per household. So this was per day. This one over here is per week. So we can just do another... Um, equation here. Uh, let me get this was from before. Okay, I already typed this in before. You can see you take this number, multiply that in seven days per week. Now, over here, cost per gallon, you're going to need to use your water bill for this. And we'll do this part on Thursday. So try to get a copy of your water bill. I realize that might not be possible for all of you, but if you can, this will become a more meaningful assignment for you. Um, once you have that number, I just put in two cents per gallon for now, which is actually a little on the high side. Um, but if we have estimated cost per week, if we know the number of gallons per week, we know the cost per gallon, we can easily calculate the estimated cost per week. And then estimated cost per year, we can write an equation for that too, where we multiply times 365.24 days per year. Okay, now I want to show you one more other type of equation that you can use with, um, with spreadsheet. Um, at some point here, you're going to calculate your totals on the bottom. And we're not going to calculate totals for the first column because this is a mix of different units. For shower, it was minutes. For toilet flushing, it was times per day. But we are going to do a total estimated gallons per use or per minute. Um, yeah, actually, you know what? The only one that really matters here is let's also make that non-applicable. We're going to make a total of the estimated gallons used per day per household. And so we do this. We have the cell highlighted where we want the total to go. We go up to this sign, which in math means summation. And if we click on that, well, actually, that sign is just representing equations or functions in spreadsheets. The first function is the most commonly used sum. And then we highlight the column that we want it to add up. And there we get 180. 
120 plus 60. Um, and then we can take that equation you just did, this one here, and we can stretch that, or what we call drag it, all the way over to the whole column there. So in the end, we'll have a number here that, that is our total estimated cost per year for that water. And we're going to also see here, we'll get an estimated cost per week. Um, and we'll be able to compare that to what your water bill says. Okay, so before you uh, finish, make sure you put your name in here. All right, see you in class.